Have you ever thought about writing a letter to your younger self and giving advice based upon what you know today? Well, here's what mine would look and sound like. Stay down or you're going to die. Tommy, welcome to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. However, for you, this won't be your reality. In fact, the very first year of your life, your mother will go to prison 11 times while your father already sits in prison. Yeah, you talk about unfortunate starts to life, you will certainly not be born with a silver spoon in your mouth, not a stable home, or your basic needs being met. But again, it's the hand you've been dealt. My words of advice to you are simple, hang in there, and don't give up. By the time you're in third grade, Tommy, it's hard and painful to say, but you would have been through a lot. A lot of the foster homes, motel rooms, and crisis centers, and parent incarcerations will certainly take a toll on your emotions. Life will even seem unfair at times. Hey, 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 I said none of that stuff. Wipe those tears from your face. There's no time for that. I told you, yes, even as a third grader, you have to man up. And plus, today's the day you gotta go see mom. Seeing mom in shackles will be very difficult and heartbreaking, but you have to be strong. I know you're feeling lots of pressure, but like I said, suck it up, keep going. I need you to look mom in the eye and tell her everything is okay. Despite the emptiness and abandonment you may be feeling inside, I know, Tommy. It's tough and it doesn't seem fair, but it's your life now. It's what it is. Tommy, this new news will have you shipped to your core and you're hoping that the sheriffs have somehow made a mistake, or even better, that they're joking. They are dead serious, and you and your family need to move out right now. You must go forward. Take your trunk with all your possessions and just go. Tommy, you don't know this now, and it's a bit heartbreaking for me to tell you this, but <clears throat> um, Denver, it'll never be your home again. Tommy, through it all, you will discover that there's always been a plan for your life. That plan has made you seek out your purpose. And you will discover education be, will become a stabilizing force for your future. In the end, Tommy, your story will be used to inspire millions. You'll beat the odds. How do I know all this? Because I am you, Dr. Tommy Watson. You'll beat the parental incarcerations, the foster homes, the crisis centers, the motel rooms. You will persevere. You will show great resilience. I'm very proud of you. Now, you have had a chance to hear 
and see my story. Now it's your turn. I want you to go to my website, lettertotommy.com, download the full version of the letter, share your story, and then go out and give advice to three other people. And remember, sometimes the very things we go through in life weren't meant for you, but they were meant for someone else.